Hi everyone and this is Chrissy from In The Stars by Chrissy.com and on this video we are going to be talking about the 2020 numerology predictions. As you guys already know, numbers have meaning to it and they have their own energy and they somehow vibrate the energy throughout the entire year and that is really what we are going to be diving deep right now because whether you believe in numerology or not the energy of the year can affect you personally as a whole regardless of what your life path number is whether you are a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 22, 33, or 44, regardless what your number really is all about, you will be affected by this because this is the numerology energy of the entire year. So one way or another, something in your life can be affected by this energy. So for you guys to understand this a lot more, um, I'll go first with the 2019 energy predictions. Just a preview so you guys will have an idea how this actually works because this is my first video in actually creating this numerology forecasting because I really think that my method is a bit different from other numerology forecasts because the way that I do this is that I take into consideration each of the numbers of the entire year also with the calculations it gives in total. So I put them all together and just like tarot reading, I combine them and channel the energy and whatever information it gives me is what I am going to be telling you guys. So for 2019, we have 2, 0, 1, and 9. And that will carry the energy of number 2. Number 2 is all about union, partnerships, and um, coming together. Also, it is number 2 is a lot about um, polarities of life, um, the yin and yang of things. And with the zero, it's all about new beginnings. And then the number three is all about creativity, all about expression, addition, those kinds of things. But um, the last number that we have is the number nine. And this can be quite challenging. Now, 2019 is a very spiritual year for a lot of people. And that is really positive. But believe it or not, the more spiritual the energy is, the more challenging it becomes in, um, in reality with our practical life, with our material plane, material world, our worldly desires can be quite challenged by this. You know, Even though if you pursue your lustful energy throughout the entire year, you will realize that you know there is a lot of reflection that has been experienced and done during this 2019 cycle. And that is because the number two is the representative of the high priestess. And as you can see, the high priestess is that wise person that know it all. I know what I'm going for right now. I know um, if I tackle um, a certain project, Will it fail or will it succeed? I kind of know it all, you know. This is also um, the secrets card as well. But I'm not, I'm not really speaking up for what I know. I know what I know and I'm not going to tell you what I know because I don't have to. So um, I would say that 2019 has a lot of powerful energy for individuality, I would say. So the second card that we have is the full card, and this is representative of the zero of the 2019. So um, maybe this is a situation wherein you have, you know, taken a leap of faith into something, did some form of risk taking as well. And it could have been turned into something that has brought you luck. But it could also have an effect wherein you have risk on something and you failed so hard. 
you know, it's all about creation, I would say, for the entire year of 2019 because we also have the Magician card, which is representative of the number one. It also has that really sun energy to it. So there's a lot of positivity. So maybe you are coming to a point of um, sadness or isolation and then you found hope into something and you're willing to... Um, Raise the vibration of learning things, finding out things, um, be starting something new basically is also in the picture uh, with this energy in place. Also, this can be a point of a breakthrough for many people like I don't want to be oppressed anymore. I don't want to do things, so I want to break free and do what I want to do. But with the number nine card, we found ourselves maybe alone, maybe, you know, we have done something that requires us to look back. Um, maybe you end up regretting what you have done, or maybe you're realizing that um, I, shouldn't have, I shouldn't have done this, or... It's like we are learning lessons the hard way during 2019. We have started things out of the blue and we have learned some form of lessons and experiences along the way. And also, if you try to calculate the 2019 number in a single digit form, like 2 plus 0 plus 1 plus 9, we will eventually lead to the number 12. And the number 12 is actually the hangman. So this is another reflective card. Like it made us isolate ourselves. Maybe there has been some form of problem or maybe there is some form of stagnancy. It requires us to reflect on a lot of things in our life. So, you know, like I mentioned earlier, the 2019 is very spiritual but it was harder for us to achieve our concrete goals in our life. It was easy to start to begin things, but it made us turn into a reflective state we're in. It made us want to mature, to grow up. It made us want to try things out, to experience things, and then it it really gives us that energy we're in. We are learning from mistakes. We are learning things from what is not working in our life. So this is like, you know, being a baby wherein you are open to everything in your life. Maybe you recently just got out of your own cage and you're willing to discover things. You're willing to try things out. You're willing to have a lot of fun. But you come to realize that not all fun is actually good. And that is basically the energy of 2019. So it's like you are being forced to learn from mistakes and to grow up, basically. So I would say that a lot of people have um, indulged themselves with um, worldly things because when you add that 1 plus 2, it is equals to the Empress card. So this is all about um, abundance, all about beauty. So maybe there were a lot of temptations throughout the year of 2019. There were a lot of ideas that come into your mind that you wanted to, to try. You wanted to absorb in your life, basically. And like it or not, it, it has created a lot of challenges in your life as well. So... I'm not going to say that 2019 is very easy. It's actually a bit hard and it has created a lot of hard work for many people. So how we are ending the year of 2020 is all about reflection. We are learning from past mistakes. And, you know, with our experimentations in life, we are learning to adapt. We are learning to think bigger. We are learning to be more mature with how we are handling things as a whole. And with our 2020 cycle, we are going to become more mature. 2020 is a very practical year. So it is not going to be surprising if we actually see a lot of material results material manifestations 
um, that can come through in our life with 2020 because um, this is actually a, an evolved number. Also, it has that vibration of a master number of 22, which is the master builder. This is a point where in, okay, um, you already know your mistakes. You already know what works and what does not. And you are now at the point of, you know, it's like a Lego or a puzzle pieces where in you're now... Um, you have collected the tiny pieces and you're now finding your way to build them up slowly into one big thing. So there is a situation wherein team building could be a very important part of this year. Um, organizations coming together, making peace. Um, this is like an epitome of partnerships because if we are going to single-handedly think of the number two, this is about, um, yes, it has partnership theme as well, but it's really more of polar opposites. It's not really about coming together, but this year of 2020, it has that energy of really reuniting. That is why um, it's very much related to spiritual union as well. So I'm not going to be surprised if this has a relation to, you know, um, spiritual lovers, divine lovers coming together. And in this way, they are coming together in reality form, not in a very spiritual manner. Because 2020 is a very material, material energy, basically. And if you add them up, you will reach the number four card in tarot, which is the emperor card. And this is the planner and the person that um, gives us the go signal whether we should implement things or not. There is an emphasis on stability and security all at the same time. And if you notice, we do also have the symbol of the goat um, on this, um, I don't know what you call that, the handler of the chair or something with the tarot card. So also we have the Capricorn energy happening in astrology as well for 2020. So. I really, um, I really like it when there is a coincidental connections between numerology, tarot, and astrology as a whole because it gives us more of a power. We're in. This is a time of manifestation. We can actually see the results of what we have been wishing for, wanting for, and you know, praying for basically. But the key here for twenty twenty is that because. It is in the energy of the Emperor card. This is basically telling us that we need to implement things. We need to put in the hard work. There is some form of effort that we need to do. And if you are hesitating of whether you should do it or whether you should not, you will be entering a year wherein you're, you're always going to debate. You're always, you will lack that decision-making skill to implement anything in your life because the number two is also about you know always weighing things the pros and the cons and what you need to know with that is that if you are not going to take any action you you're you'll you'll be stuck in that loop so this is a time we're in there is an opportunity for you to make things happen and you need to grab hold of that and take that opportunity to really bring it all into reality because it will bear you some form of fruit for us results as well. So um, yeah, um, even though we do have the High Priestess card, also a big influencer to the year of 2020, like I said, this is also very spiritual, but I would say that this has the energy we're in um, it it raises that vibration of emotional security in us because um, we are facing two high priestess. So it's like telling us there is like a powerful message that will come through for 2020, maybe intuitively. But I feel that, you know, this is like the time where in spiritual and material plane are going to come together. So this is like, really the perfect time to manifest everything and they can really happen in the real world. 
So um, yeah. Also, um, another correlation for the 2020 is the world card. So this is really um, a very powerful year because the world is like, it's like the final point of your own journey. So I would say that the connection with 2019 and 2020 is that whatever is the starting point of your year from 2020, 2019, um, there is going to be an ending or a climax zone that can happen for 2020. So maybe you have started your hard work during 2019 then 2020 for you will be the time where in you will receive um the fruit of your hard work of the effort that you have placed in during 2019 as well i would say that you know 2020 because of that two zeros it's very protective very um it has that very powerful energy because zero is uh, a symbol of the sun it's also the symbol of you know the magic circle we we all know magic circles they are meant to protect us they are meant to to enhance power to whatever intentions prayer or spells or whatever we are putting into into place you know whatever we want to manifest in our life it has it's like a, uh, a hot spot zone so that they can manifest into reality. So what can we bring into reality? It has a lot to do with, with um, working with a group of people, working with um, relationships, partnerships. This is really not about um, adding in extra, extra people in our life. This is about, you know, um, create a, creating a solid foundation to our um, family members, society, our group, the group of people that we already have. So I would say that the people that we are focusing for 2020 are not entirely new, but people that are already existing in our life because 2020 has the energy of Saturn. And Saturn is, you know, it's like the history of the astrology. It focuses more on the past, the foundation, what works and what does not it is saturn so um yeah i would say that it's giving us the energy we're in we can make something stronger so it could be a partnerships relationship um what we hold dear in our hearts as well and including our heart's desire so these are the key areas we're in it's going to be empowered so if 2019 we have done everything in solo 2020 would be the time we're in we need to think about the people that we that are around us that we truly care about that we really really love and really treasure in our life so these are the key figures for 2020 so like i said this is just an energy forecasting and unlike 2019 we're in there's a lot of numbers right there 2020 does not have it but there is a strong emphasis on duality and coming together as a form of a union so i do see 2020 as a very wonderful year it's like, you know, for me, the hardest one will be 2019, not really 2020. 2020 is going to be liberating and it will allow us to venture to a new chapter of our life. And letting all those mishaps in our life go for good, hopefully. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys again on my next video on the astrology forecasting. So if you haven't really subscribed to my channel yet, please do so now. So you'll get notified when I post the astrology predictions for each sign. So, um, yeah, this is Chrissy and thank you for watching and joining in with me and I'll see you guys next time.